I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will use sum and difference formula to prove the identity, which is to prove cos 3 pi by 4 plus x plus sin 3 pi by 4 minus x is equal to 0. So let's look into the angle 3 pi by 4 first, where it lies, and how to solve this particular question. Where we say 3 pi by 4, we know this is 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, then we're talking about the terminal arm being in quadrant 2, right? Now, in quadrant 2, as you know, sine is positive, right? All are positive in 1, tan in 3, cos in this, correct? So, the value of sine 3 pi by 4 is equal to 1 over square root 2. However, cos 3 pi by 4 will be equal to minus 1 over square root 2. So that is one thing. Second thing which you should know is the formula itself. Uh, what is cos A plus B? Cos A plus B is cos A cos B minus sine A sine B, correct? And then we'll also use sine A minus B formula, which is sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. With that, we should be in a position to prove this identity. So you can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin with the question. We'll begin from the left-hand side, which is cos 3 pi by 4 plus x plus sine 3 pi by 4 minus x, right? Now, applying this formula, we could write this as cos 3 pi by 4 cos x minus sine 3 pi by 4 sin x. So that is the expansion of the first part. And for sine, we have plus sine 3 pi by 4 cos x minus cos 3 pi by 4 sine x. Correct. Now we'll substitute the value. Cos 3 pi by 4, we are in quadrant 2, should be negative. So it is negative 1 over square root 2 of cos x minus sine is positive. So we get 1 over square root 2 sine x. Here we have plus sine is positive. So we have 1 over square root 2 cos x. Here it is minus cos is negative. So we have minus 1 over square root 2 of sine x. So we can rearrange bringing the cos terms together. We have 1 over square root 2 cos x plus 1 over square root 2 cos x. They will become 0. And here we have 1 over square root 2 sine x with a minus sign. And this becomes plus 1 over square root 2 sine x. And now this and this cancel, so we get 0, and this also is 0, so we get 0 as a result, which is the right-hand side, correct? So that is how you could prove this identity. So whenever you have angles involved, you can, especially when you have special triangle angles involved, you can substitute their values and then figure it out. I hope that helps. Thanks and all the best. Feel free to write down your comments and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.